Hello everybody, Vinim here, and uh, what we're doing right now is the last update of the Summer Backlog Challenge. We're going to do update 4 and 5 together in just one video. Uh, it, it's going to be easier that way. So, fourth game. Uh, yeah, what? The fourth game. Uh, yeah. In your case was? Uh, the fourth game in my case was the Omega make it full. And for me it was Death Space. Mm -hmm. So let's report with you first. Uh, yeah, I pretty much played Devil May Cry 4 on the PS3. A lot easier than Devil May Cry 3. I get that the third one was the hardest of the series, but yeah, 4 was pretty much easy. I finished it, I guess, in like two days. <laughs> I was like, this is it? Really? Just yeah, two days? Yeah, just two days. I was, I was like, I got to the old dude, like, like the one with the flying orb, whatever. He was the he was the only guy that actually gave me problems because I didn't know how to defeat the last the last part. Of, boss, though. Yeah, the, the, the last part because he has like so much invincibility. That I was like, really that much? But yeah, other than that, it was really easy. I mean, didn't really feel like I don't make Craig. Story story wise, uh, is, is it good? Uh, a little bit. Uh, Puzzling because you don't know where Nero comes from. Like, he's just like a new guy. It's hinted that he's Virgil's son, son or whatever. But yeah, well, because De Dante is not the, the main character. In this exactly, game. it's this new guy called Nero with the freaking glowy hand. Apparently, he has Titan going around the hand or something. No, and, <laughs> and, and Nero actually does look a lot by Dante instead yeah, of Virgil. Exactly, that's the thing, even though they're twin brothers, but yeah, anyway. But yeah, uh, kind of like, just really confusing, really easy, I, I don't know. I mean, okay, I, and you will recommend this game? I would recommend this game pretty much only to Devil May Cry fans, I would I would say, because, uh, and pretty much if you're looking for a new hack and slash beat em up kind of game or something, and mom, we're recording here. What? I know. Anyways, I'm sorry about my mama. <laughs> okay, would you recommend this game to anyone? Uh, I would recommend this game to pretty much Devil May I, either Devil May Cry fans or people who just like want a new hack and slash or beat em up, blah, blah, beat em up game. Because it's pretty easy. You don't really need to know. Uh, of the other Devil May Cry games to actually know what the hell is going on because it's kind of like a whole new story, whatever. Now, last question. Are you excited for the new reboot? Oh yeah, I'm bursting with joy. Like, really? Okay, that, that actually answers everything. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, you can feel the excitement you ooze out of me. Yeah, uh, although uh, uh, people that have been playing the, the demo of the game in different events actually said that the game actually plays awesome, that the, it does look cool and everything. The only problem that everybody seems to be having with the game is that they don't like Dante's new look. I don't like Dante's new look. I don't like where the story is going. I don't like everybody's new look because apparently Mundus is there, the guy from Devil May Cry 1. Uh, Virgil is there as a good guy. He doesn't look good either. I don't as like a, it. A, a, he's a good guy. Yeah. I so, mean, spoiler, maybe he goes power hungry at the end of it and he goes to the real Virgil we know, but eh, I'm not exactly excited. If I get it, it's gonna be like uh, off a bargain bin with less than $20 or something like that. I don't really, okay. I don't really care much. Well, me. you actually finished game four. In my case, Yo. game four was Dead Space, which I actually said it from the really beginning that this game was gonna be really difficult for me uh, because it's not my type of game I'm not very good with shooters uh, I'm a very lousy shot it's really difficult for me to aim properly especially with the analog oh yeah I always hated that on the analog uh, but the thing is that I actually played the game and I started to advance through it and I was quite surprised I was able to do all that because I I, I, like I said before, I'm not very good with shooters. After being playing for quite some time, I started to get the hang of it, and I started to aim better, and all this stuff. But the game was really difficult for me. 
and sadly I was not able to finish uh, Dead Space. I actually end up on chapter 7. There are 12 chapters to the game and I was able to get all the way to chapter 7. Uh, I'm gonna continue playing the game, I'm gonna finish it eventually, I'm gonna report when I finished it. Uh, one of the problems that I, I had with the game was time. Uh, I was having a lot of problems with time, especially with work and all this stuff. Uh, there were days that I would come home really late from work and I, I, I was really tired, I didn't want to play and a few weeks went by like that that I didn't do any gaming at all. Uh, especially there were games, uh, sorry, there were days that I went to play the game, I started to play the game, but I was very stressed out from work and all that stuff. And playing the game, uh, Dead Space, while you are stressed up, is not a good idea. Stress and Dead Space are not good bedfellows. So, uh, time and my lousy gameplay on Dead Space, the, the, those were the factors why I wasn't able to finish Dead Space. But, instead of going out, because Dead Space was the fourth game, I decided to move to my fifth game and try to beat that one. Because I knew I was going to finish Dead Space. So I went and played Little Nemo for the NES. And I was able to beat Little Nemo. So, uh, instead of going uh, 3 out of 5, I went 4 out of 5. Nemo, uh, it's, a, it's a game I always wanted to play. I actually bought it about like a few years ago. Never never actually sit down to play it. Really love it. Uh, it's a really fun game. It's not for kids because it's not that easy. The game is actually quite hard, uh, especially when I didn't know that you can actually use the rod that he has on his back. I thought that the only attack that Nemo has were the candy. And I have found out that you can actually use the rod right at the end of the uh, of the game. The game actually doesn't have any bosses. All you have to do is just collect some keys and get out of the dream, go to the next stage. The bosses actually are in the last stage. You actually have three bosses. Uh, the the first two are two mid bosses and the final boss. The game is really really hard especially the train stage I really have a lot of problem with that and the last stage and the last stage is really really damn hard but I actually recommend Little Nemo uh, it is an amazing 8-bit Capcom game you know they actually made it on the that typical Capcom uh, way and I really liked it so that was my fifth game in your case your fifth, your fifth game was uh, yeah, uh, which one was it? Ah, yeah, uh, Tales of Symphonia, the Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World, I have problems with that name. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, it's really long as hell. Yeah, remember that on our first video when I, when we announced the games that we were gonna play? Yeah. Uh, someone left a comment that that was going to be a really long game for you. And it was, because, I mean, considering me, I'm a competitionist, and like I've said so before. Uh, yeah, a lot of side quests, a lot of story, that, I mean, like, there's so much to do in that game. Like, it's, it, it took me like, I don't know, like 60, 70 hours to actually be able to finish it. But... The thing is that you, you actually want to play that game, Yep. Uh, right when I was still playing Dead Space, Actually, because you finished Devil May Cry so quickly. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't even know that Devil May Cry 4 was going to be so over so quickly, so yeah. And I decided to leave Tales for the end, because I knew that that game was going to be long. You know, uh, I actually was seeing the, the end of the game, and that last uh, scene of the game, God, it was really, really long and boring. Uh, I'm sorry, what? What? No, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But yeah, exactly. I, I mean, I almost fell asleep. I wasn't kidding. Like, I mean, it, there was so much blah. 
and blah and blah and it just went on and on and on and going around the same topic over and over and over and over and over and blah 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 But anyway. story wise compared with other RPGs is the, the game any good? Um actually, it is worth con consider, playing consider that I didn't play the first Tales of Symphonia, that's actually the second one by the way. And people praise the first one and they go like eh for the second one. That did not look gay at all. Eh. Anyway <laughs> Yeah, uh, but actually, I kind of like the story. I mean, it was kind of confusing. Like, I'm still wrapping my head around it because uh, I, okay. I don't and, understand all the details. And talk about uh, um, multiple personalities syndrome with oh, this guy. Oh God, tell me about it because that guy has like two personalities, and uh, and like I have I have a joke that I have like a few personalities on myself, but that guy. That guy got the record. I mean, that, uh, he has he has only two personalities, and he has more issues than I do with my other personalities. Like, uh, yeah, inside joke, YouTube. <laughs> you, you, you know, you don't want to get into that. Uh, but yeah, like he has like a lot of problems. With, I mean, he, he gets possessed. He gets deep possessed. He, he he steals away the other with the bad personality and stays in the good one. And uh, it's a real cluster bleep. Yeah, it's a cluster fuck. Cluster That's fuck. what I'm gonna say. Well, thank you. Excuse me, princess. Anyway, but yeah, it's a real cluster fuck. It's, it's, it's confusing as well. I don't, like I said, I don't, under, I, don't, blah, 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 I don't understand all the details. But yeah, it's actually a fun game, actually. I, I really liked it. So will you recommend this game to anyone? Uh, yeah, if you're looking for a, a... Actually, wait, wait, I have to say this first. If you have enough time, and and you're willing to go for like a 60, approximately 60 hour game, uh, this is the game for you. But if you just want like a quick RP, like you, you don't even want to grind or level up or whatever, then this is not the game for you. But you know, if you're, if you're looking for a good story, like yeah, pretty much a good story, uh, and pretty much 60 hours of RP, then yeah, this is the game for you. Oh, okay. Well guys, uh... This is, uh, I said before, this is the last update. We finally finished with the Summer Backpack Challenge. Uh, Nuki actually was able to complete it. Yeah. I fell short for just one game. Uh, okay. I'm gonna, we, I, we hope that for next year, next summer, we get to participate once again on this, uh, on this challenge because yeah. The best part of this challenge that is that he actually kept us playing some of those games that we have that we have never played before, or we actually bought it and forget all about them, or we actually started. Uh, like when I played Luigi's Mansion, which was an amazing game, I actually started that game before, but I never completed it. And this challenge uh, allowed me to play that game as well. We go to war. Uh, that was quite an experience. Uh, but I hope that next year we can actually both of us complete the, the challenge. Hopefully, next year I won't be I won't be playing games such as Death by Degrees or Epic Mickey. <laughs> Please, <laughs> I, I know it's nobody's fault. It's my uh, own fault, but yeah. But but no, that, that, that's it. Uh, we have a great time. We have a lot of fun with this challenge. Uh, we just want to say thanks to. Uh, Death to death. Um, yeah, that's alright. Yeah. Right. Finally, uh, I so want to say say thanks for her for issuing this challenge because it is an amazing challenge, and hope that she actually issued it the next year because if she does, we're gonna take it. So now, since all this summer, since this challenge started, we haven't done any of our normal videos. Uh, we are gonna go back to them. So, you are going to be seeing new episodes of Plug In, one or two players, uh, and the rest of the shows. We are going to start to do them all over again. So, stay tuned for that. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye bye! Awesome.